of us can probably remember where we were during the events of 9-11. But how sure are you about the events that led up to the incident? Some are questioning the government's account. And one of them is our guest, Dr. Bob Bowman joins us. He's a retired Air Force colonel. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome. Good to be here. A little bit about your background first before we talk about some of the things that you have to say. Who are you? Well, as you said, Lieutenant Colonel USAF retired, flew 101 combat missions in Vietnam, directed all the Department of Defense Star Wars programs under Presidents Ford and Carter. My PhD is in aeronautics and nuclear engineering from Caltech. And I've cha chaired eight major international conferences. So that's probably enough. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you also uh, were looking at a congressional seat? Oh, yes, I ran for Congress in 2006, uh, came pretty close, uh, but I was uh, beaten in the end by my seven-term incumbent Republican opponent and his Diebold touchscreen voting machines. <laughs> <laughs> well, needless to say, you have some background in the federal government. Absolutely. And you are questioning a little bit about some of the accounts of what led up to 9-11? Well, sure. We haven't been told the truth. Uh, I've talked to both Governor Kane and Congressman Hamilton, the co-chairs of the 9-11 Commission report, and they admit that there are outright falsehoods in, not in their official 9-11 uh, final report, uh, a report tightly controlled by the White House, uh, written by Philip Zelikow, a White House flack. So uh, it doesn't tell the story. It doesn't even address most of the questions doesn't tell why Building 7 came down, which wasn't even hit by an aircraft in what appears to be a, a perfect controlled demolition. Uh, not only doesn't answer the questions, it doesn't even ask many of the pertinent questions. Beyond that, beyond the white, uh, the cover-up of the report, uh, when you combine that with confiscation of audio tapes, videotapes, uh, black boxes and other evidence by the FBI. It's clear that regardless of who was responsible for 9-11, the subsequent cover-up was itself a conspiracy involving elements of the White House and the intelligence establishment. Well, Dr. Some would say, what you don't know won't hurt you. Now, the general public out there may not want to know a lot of the things you're talking about because <clears throat> they understand there were some terrorists, they were inside of some buildings, yep. things went down and there was a great deal of loss of people and a tragedy in the United States, mm -hmm. they may not want to know a lot of about the things Well, we have happened. to do that because the Bush administration exploited that tragedy to deceive us into illegal, unnecessary wars of aggression in Afghanistan and Iraq. Whether or not anyone in the government was involved in killing almost 3,000 people on 9-11. The Bush administration is directly responsible for the loss of over 3,500 young American soldiers in, Af in Iraq, more in Afghanistan, to say nothing of hundreds of thousands of Iraqi civilians. Now, this is an impeachable offense and an act of treason. I said so before the war started. It still is. We know that this war, and I said this before it started, has absolutely nothing to do with national security or freedom or democracy or human rights or weapons of mass destruction or protecting our allies or disarming Iraq. It has to do with money, it has to do with oil, and it has to do with raw imperial power, and it is wrong. And Congress should immediately impeach Dick Cheney and George W. Bush for deceiving us into this war, costing so many thousands of lives. And then we can end the occupation of Iraq and prevent another attack, a, perhaps a nuclear attack on Iran, which the Bush administration admits they want to do. But we mustn't let them get away with it. You have a petition, or there's a petition circulating, is there not, for this investigation you're talking about? A, a lot of people are clamoring for a new investigation of 9-11, a new invest... I'm, an, I'm asking for an investigation of the cover-up. And more importantly, I'm asking for impeachment based on the exploitation of 9-11. Whether or not anybody in the United States had anything to do with it or not, they have exploited it for their own financial reasons, having nothing to do with national security. They have sacrificed the lives of over 3,500 of our young men and women in Iraq, 
And if that isn't a treasonable, uh, impeachable offense, I don't know what is. Yeah, you're talking about, uh, obviously, uh, integrity here or something much deeper because the president's going to be termed out. He's going to be gone anyway. So impeaching yeah, but him... He, he's got over a year to do more damage, including a possible nuclear attack on Iran, which I believe would destroy the United States as we know it. We... I mean, we have already lost so many of our friends, so much of our credibility around the world, so many of our allies. Uh, if we did that, uh, Russia and China would turn against us for sure. We'd be isolated in the world completely, and rightly so, as the number one rogue nation on Earth. Well, you've just touched... I We've think got to the, save our country. I, I, it's just as like you've touched on the tip of what it is that you like to say. Uh, website? How can people find out more? www. if you want thepatriots.us. Okay, Dr. Bob Bowman, a retired U.S. Colonel, uh, Air Force Colonel, and uh, we'll be back. Well, that's it for this edition of North Bay Report. Until next time, I'm Curtis Kim. <laughs>